Hey guys, welcome back. Today's interesting topic is about cyclic redundancy check. So what is cyclic redundancy check? It's an error detection method, not a correction. It is used for only detecting the error. So why do we need an error detecting method? Suppose let us consider two systems. Over here it is TX and over here it's RX. TX transmitter, RX receiver. So transmitter sends the data to Rx and Tx sends the data, let's say AB, but Rx receives the data AC. What happened here is the data is being corrupted and an error has occurred at receiver. But the receiver doesn't know that the data received is correct or not. How about, how about the receiver checks its own data? So we are introducing a, this error detection method CRC. It's very fast and it's good for error detection. So CRC can detect odd errors, so single bit errors and the burst errors. So it can detect these three types of errors, odd, single and burst. Okay, let's say, suppose that TX sends a message data to an RX but sim simply sending the message alone will not give a detection method so we will add a bit called CRC bit so CRC bit will be checked at the RX so how does the RX check the RX will do calculations on message and generate its own CRC value let's say CRC1 so then it will compare the CRC1 and the receive CRC value. If both are equal, then it finds out that my data is perfectly fine, no problem with it, and it's wrong, then it finds it's wrong. As you can see that we are adding an n bit CRC extra with the m bit of data. So Rx will receive m bit of data and n bit of CRC. So how are we going to calculate CRC? That's the most important thing. So CRC is a polynomial. So we are going to do polynomial division on our data. Then we will add the CRC bit to our data and send it to the receiver. So the CRC polynomial will be worked upon the message data and will calculate the CRC bit and will be appended at the end and then send the data. So C polynomial has certain rules. The polynomial should not be divisible by x and x plus 1. Let us consider a small polynomial like this x, plus, x power 4 plus x cubed plus 1. So this polynomial is not divisible by x or x plus 1. So CRC polynomial should be such like this. So as you know, I'm going to discuss about it, give you an example and clear your doubts. So please keep watching. So as I said before, it's used for detecting odd errors, single bit errors, burst errors and how much burst errors, how many bits. So it's the length equal to the highest polynomial degree. As you can see here it's 4. So uh, we can detect up to 4 bits of errors. So we will be able to detect 4 bits of errors in our message data if they are corrupted. Okay, now let's, I'm gonna draw an example and explain CRC how it's calculated and how the polynomial division is done. Okay. So suppose we want to send this data word to the receiver. So we are going to calculate the CRC for this one using a polynomial which this is the polynomial for which I'm going to calculate the CRC. Using this polynomial I'm going to calculate the CRC for this one. Okay. So before calculating we need to convert this polynomial into a binary form. So how are we going to convert this polynomial into a binary form? I hope the polynomial above can be written like this if you multiply it by 1, by 1, by 0, by 0 and by 1. So now you get the values right here 1, 1, 0, 0 and 1. So this is the binary value which we are going to use for the polynomial division with the data word and calculate our CRC. So now let's calculate the CRC value. Before going to the calculation, the reminder is our 
real CRC which we are going to calculate but we need to add extra bits of uh, uh, initial values of CRC how many bits of extra values that depends upon the highest degree of the polynomial so let's say we have uh, we, our polynomial is x power 4 you know our polynomial is x power 4 x cubed plus 1 so how are the highest degree is 4 so we are going to use 4 initial values that's 4 initial values that's 0 0 0 okay let's consider our initial values as 0 0 so our initial values are 4 zeros but never confuse with this number of bits over here are 5 but our initial value is 1 so never look at this it's always n minus 1 bits okay always n minus 1 bits must be initialized with the c our data word so now i'm going to do an xor operation okay an xor operation as you can look over here this is an xor truth table if you don't know about the xor functionality please go check out my xor video but you need to here you need to know about the xor that whenever the values are unequal it will give an one so it is an inequality detector so now let's go back to our uh, polynomial division so i'm calculating the value so it's one one zero one and the quotient is one quotient is not the important for us all that matters is the reminder now let's xor the values so it's zero one one zero and zero bring down one more value it's zero okay again the quotient is one and the values are one one zero zero one again do the xor operation for it so we got only one value we need to bring more four values from the top okay bring the four values from the top so we got this value then again use the quotient as one and get the xor operation so we'll do xor with this it's again 0, 0, 0, 1, and 1. So we have more three zeros around. Bring that down. So now we'll get the reminder as 0, 0, 1, and 0. Okay, these are all zeros. Now we need to use this value, this four bit, last four bits, as a CRC instead of our normal initial values. So it will change from 0, 0, 0 to one over here so this is the um, n bit data as uh, crc added to our data word so this data word and crc value is sent to rx so what does the rx do the rx take this whole bit and do the polynomial division just like this this is for tx and rx will do the similar operation and if it gets the reminder as zero then it's perfectly fine if the reminder is not zero it's not fine okay so this value is having our data word and CRC so this is the value which is gonna be received by Rx and Rx is gonna use the same polynomial and divide the whole and get the reminder okay so now let us do the polynomial division over here once again it's 1 1 0 0 and 1 do an XOR operation after doing the XOR operation, we'll get this value, bring this zero down. Again, do the XOR operation with it and the quotient will be one and one for the previous two and do the XOR operation for this two. Then we'll get zero, 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 zero and one and bring four values up. So bring the four values from the top to down and again do the XOR operation. So again, doing the XOR operation, we get zero, 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 one, one and bring the values of up that is zero zero one over here zero zero one okay again use the quotient as one and take the reminder from this we'll get the reminder one zero zero one so what's the reminder zero 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 our data is perfectly fine the crc has calculated perfectly so this is what happens this is what happens in crc so this is what happens in crc if you like this video, if you have any doubts and don't forget to solve this simple question in your examination because everyone knows how to do a CRC. I hope you like this division and if you like this content, please like, share or subscribe because it will be helpful for me to create more informative videos for you.
Thanks for watching. If you like, please do subscribe. I want you to be the part of my growth and let's grow together. I will explain your doubts in comments. If you comment down below, I will answer within 24 hours. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.